Hello there fellow um, sailors and skippers and uh, welcome to another Torpedo Tuesday. It is February the 1st 1941. Uh, we do have everything equipped. The last time we finished a, um, a mission here, uh, sank a bunch of ships uh, while we're waiting to get more missions. Now I don't know how we can fire up the southern routes. Uh, cheaper imports like coffee. Well, hmm, okay, I'm not uh, that interested in that. But anyway, I don't know how we could um, get the mission um, from our commanding officer. Uh, therefore, we've taken recruitment leading Beim officer. BDU wird viel über ihre letzte Patrouillenfahrt geredet. Gute no. Um, therefore, we've taken a mission here where we're gonna be hunting a battleship. Uh, I wish I could uh, tell which battleship is in the Rodney or maybe Nelson. Honestly, I don't know. But we do have a chance to stumble upon a battleship. So we're definitely gonna do our best and uh, try and find it. Also, we do have a milk cow in AL9. So that means we're gonna be able to equip. We just finished uh, vacations. So we can stay out on the sea for a very, very long time. Uh, storage room, we do have some extra food on board. Not to mention that we can grab a bunch of food um, from the milk cow. So yeah, time to... Uh, oopsie, time to move. Everything is set. And, oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to say. Um, I've installed another mod. Um, war sounds or sounds of war, something like that. What? Well, let me check. Sounds of war. Yeah, sounds of war. So that's an additional mod that I've installed in the game, and we're playing with it today. There should be explosions uh, when we are dived down. I mean, when we are underwater, there should be new sounds. Um, Torpedo explosions, cannon, I mean gun explosions, um, AA guns, sounds and plenty of other stuff. So we're gonna check that out as well, see how that works. But uh, yeah, all in all we're gonna go on a hunt, yet again. Aloy, ich habe eine große Gruppe von Schiffen festgestellt, vermutlich ein Geleitzug. 22k, they're still on course, we're gonna start cutting in, surface the boat. We need to raise the crew. Off to bed for you, mate. We have 12 kilometers, that's perfect. Let's check the torpedo situation. T2s, a lot of T2s, so we need to get close, preferably inside the cone. Are we ready for a uh, daytime attack with T2 torps? We're gonna start cutting in. Ahoy there, R3. R3 D Shift Studio. <laughs> How's it going, mate? We've just, um, I'm pretty sure, just stumbled upon a convoy. Oh, yes, we did. And this looks to be something huge. It's a cruiser. Ooh, it's our primary target for sure. Let's hope it's not a Dido class uh, and uh, that it is a county class cruiser. Seems like a small convoy. Freighter. Alarm. Dive down. Oops. No, 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 no. Get him a sailor. Well, god dang it. 
Get him a sailor. Sound alarm. We're gonna slow down. Go blue. Turn this off. Uh, teats, go turn that off. You turn the heater off. You go on the listening thingy. We're gonna stop for now. Scope up. Command. Uh, we need to turn off the fridge and that's it. Teats, you're gonna be on the engines. I'll go turn off the fridge first. Um, you go on that skipping. You go nowhere. You take over the engines. We cannot see anything yet. Oh, wait a second. There's a lot more smoke. Ooh. Oh, running any mods? Yeah, running a bunch of mods. And today we're running an additional mod. Oh, this is a bug. I would... You cannot get the menu until this thing disappears. Uh, a lot of mods for uh, realism and I've added an, an additional mod. Uh, something that somebody was constantly asking me if I have uh, in store. It's called the Sounds of War. I went and checked it on, uh, on Steam. And it seems uh, pretty darn good. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be our target. Um, so um, I've installed it and uh, we're testing it out today. I mean, we're playing with it today. This is a juicy target. It's a C3 cargo ship, if you ask me. So that's definitely a prime target. By the way, uh, this is a hunter-killer group. Uh, we need to patrol in this area and we do have a milk cow in AL9. So, not to mention we've just uh, returned from vacations, so the crew is all rested and eager to go into the fight. So this is probably, it looks like a C3, like 99% sure it's a C3, let's um, say it's a C3. That's a DD. Yeah, it's a DD. Alrighty, seems like we are in a good position to kinda attack the C3. This looks like a tanker. Oh yeah, it is a tanker. Oh boy, oh boy. Same line as the C3 cargo ship. Oh boy, this is awesome. Oh, let's see, 800 meters, yeah, we're gonna dive down here, down to the bottom, and then attack these two ships, for sure. Mm, give you a sailor. Are we silent? We're silent. I'm actually the dev of that sound mode. I'm looking for feedbacks. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> awesome, man. We're testing it out today. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Let's hope everything works as it should. Uh, let's hope this is a county class cruiser. Because if it's a Dido class, we're not going to take the shots. Um, it's it's not going to yield any, any good uh, points. Less than any proper... Um, Merchant ship. So yeah, how much time did it take you to make the uh, the mod? I did check all the YouTube videos uh, that you've posted on on um, on Steam's workshop, uh, except for the last one that was like half an hour long. I didn't have the time to do that, but I've checked all the sounds and I was like, "Ooh, wow, awesome!" <laughs> Oh, 
Oh yeah, there's another one. The cruiser is definitely somewhere in the middle. It's probably a circular um, kind of convoy with maybe a sheep or two ships on the side. It's like the usual setup. But there's two proper juicy targets in the bomb here. So a tanker and a cruiser and that C3 cargo ship if that's the case. Mm, we're up on one minute, let's speed this up a bit. Two minutes. Dry minuten. Alrighty. We're gonna mark it here. We should maybe go for like 3.30 or 3.15, but 3.15 should be the right one, because um, we're measuring in uh, kilometers, not miles, nautical miles. 7 knots. We'll probably be attacking ships from their port side. From a close range, we'll set it to a kilometer for now, 7 knots, that's 30. Don't track anything for now, please. Alrighty. Now this is a C3. We said it's a C3 and it is a C3. Good. And this should be a tanker. No, which one is a tanker? Don't know yet. Hey there, Alison. I'm the type of guy that's never happy with my work. Oh, a perfectionist. Oh man, welcome to the club, mate. I'm still making it, I'm working every day. Yeah, that's awesome. It's definitely something that uh, makes um, the game way more interesting, way more fun to play if there's uh, proper sounds in it. Not like uh, tin can stuff. Alright, let's um, lock you. So the cruiser is fur ah okay it is here. We're gonna have to initiate the turn because the plan is to turn in into these two ships, attack these two, maybe even take a, an aft shot at something like that, and then sink the cruiser if it's the proper class. The game gives a lots of a lot of limitations with what can actually be done with sounds. That's kind of a shame. Interesting. I thought that with sounds it's not gonna be a problem. I always thought uh, that the sounds is the easy part. But yeah, I guess you're not just. Um, making sounds for torpedoes, for torpedo explosions, that's probably easy. But making some um, ambient sounds, that's probably a tougher one. Yeah, exactly, a bunch of sounds that are hardcore and can be touched. Uh, that kind of sucks. Ooh, what the heck is going on now? This is also something I really don't like. Now we're looking at 160. Like what? Yeah, we won't be able to identify this ship first. This looks like a um, that tanker. Um, oh, the Dale class. Yeah, the D1, the Dale class. Let's hope it is a Dale class. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna recognize it as a Dale class. That's the big fat one. That's the C3. That's our first target. And we need to be careful about the DD that's somewhere here. So this DD is the issue. I'm not sure. I'm not kind of not recognizing it. This should probably, I mean, this should be a destroyer. Oh, this should be a destroyer. Alrighty, we're fine. We're fine, boys. Uh, what we're gonna do is we are gonna hide the scope soon. 
5.3k, we can still wait. I would really like to identify um, the cruiser. Actually, it's here. How deep can we go? 114. Fine by me. Uh, the game, there's a bunch of sun. And the game handles sound in a very weird way sometimes. Yeah, maybe you should talk to the developers. I mean, there's been a huge progress on the game. Uh, or maybe you should talk to... Oh, no, I cannot remember his name, his nickname. The guy who made the IC mod, Iron Coffins. Uh, he's from Austria. In real life, he lives quite close to me. Like, quite close. Let's say less than 100 kilometers apart. Um... I'm not sure if you are on the uh, on the uh, Discord. It's not the official game Discord, but it's a uh, Discord where pretty much everybody's uh, there that um, plays you both. Dang it! Is this a county class or a Dido class? You can never tell. Looks like a county, because Dido class has a lot of... I mean, if these two are the turrets, the gun turrets, the gun mounts, then it's a Dido class. But you cannot zoom even... Hmm, can zoom more. Now, this is definitely an Empire Tower. It's a small one. 2.6 thousand tonne, that's kind of worthless to take a shot at it. This is also a tower. 4 thousand tons, that's already a bit better. That's a tower. 3 thousand mech. This thing is dangerous. This thing is definitely dangerous. We're gonna have to um, be wary of its uh, sonar equipment. Three and a half kilometers and they might probably be able to pick us up already. So we're gonna dive down. That's it, yeah, we cannot identify that cruiser. Sadly... Nah, we're not gonna risk it for, uh, for no reason. Zero, you're gonna be pressing Z button. Um, why do we want to turn? Ah, okay, fine. Me chips, please. 105. Take her down to 800. 100 meter. If I click off screen, um, the game is going to close. That's also something that I do hope the developers are going to fix. Uh, like, win the full Windows window mode, something like that. It's what we all streamers are uh, screaming for. And it is, the setting is in the game, but it's just not working. It's just like you can tick it. <laughs> tick or untick the setting. Uh, but there's no code behind it. Alrighty, let's dive down. So yeah, we've classified this one as a Dale class. Looks like a Dale class. Not sure. These uh, things are always looking a bit different from ship to ship. There's a big one uh, behind. Now they shouldn't be able to pick us up while we are turned this way. And then we're gonna have to come up and turn. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be attacking from port side, probably close range, we're gonna use the T2s. Let's uh, set her down to the bottom. 90. 90. 
It is daytime, so they'll probably spot our scope. Are we on the bottom? No, we're not. How much? 14. Let's take her to 110. I can already see the bottom. It might rattle our sausages. We'll see. Well, I don't hear any squeaking sounds. Ooh, don't dive too slow, uh, too fast. Ooh, we're spot on the bottom. Good, camarade, and good. What the heck is this thing? I changed the creak sound, they're dynamic. The deeper you go, the louder they get. Ah, okay. I don't know why we cannot spot the cruiser. Super odd. Super odd. We're gonna have to start positioning as soon. As soon as this one's perpendicular. So it's gonna be dangerous. <laughs> they are a bit too loud maybe as of now. I cannot hear anything. We are at 100 meters, you know. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, this must be... This must be intense at 150. Let me call the captain. That's the Turum. Oh, bugger. <laughs> That's when everything starts to flood. You call the bugger. Alrighty. Yeah. Let's see. Um, okie doke. It's at 250. It's sinister. Yeah, 250. It's a bit too deep for my taste. Um, we've been down to 200, 180, uh, we've been hiding in thermal layers, uh, then we started flooding of course, but we've managed to um, salvage the situation. Now at 150, we had a flooding at 150, it was a minor flood, but if you go down to 160 you're definitely gonna start flooding soon. Alrighty, so how the heck are we gonna pull this one off? What are you? You are just a big... Um, oh boy, how's... I don't know why my brains are not working properly today again. Um, on cams, you go do that. What's the third merchant type? You have the bell, you have the tower and you have the explorer. Yeah, that one's the explorer. Must be around 6,000 tons. So that's also a juicy, fair juicy target. Oops. Um, I was talking about this one on the edge. Yeah, this one. Let's see what kind of a cruiser this is. It's a county class, so it's definitely our primary target. We have three primary targets. County class, um, this uh, thingy, the oil tanker, this C3 uh, cargo ship. 
So we're gonna rattle the cage pretty soon. They have three destroyers with two being dangerous as fuck. Yeah, this one's gonna be an issue. Oh, okay. We're gonna manage somehow. We're gonna manage. Let's start preheating. We're gonna start preheating. Yeah, we're gonna manage somehow, though. We'll see. We're gonna have to do a lot of maneuvering, and that's the main issue. We need to still uh, turn perpendicular to the convoy. So that's gonna be a problem. We're also gonna put in the course for this one, so let's say 73.9-ish. Uh, let's say we want to do something like that. We're gonna start rising soon. I mean soon. As soon as this one goes past us, we're gonna start rising. And we have to start moving pretty soon. Yeah, yeah, all is good. Herr Kaloy? Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Tube 1 and 2 are gonna be out first. Herr Kaloy, ich habe eine große Gruppe von Schiffen festgestellt. We'll probably use a C3 cargo, is like 140 meters long. Uh, we're gonna use a small dispersion. If everything goes as planned. And we're gonna be around 800 meters away from the target, which means 1 to 1.5% spread should be fine to make two proper holes into the ships. You know what my problem is? I'm not using headphones. Um, so... I cannot distinguish and I have a very bad sound system. And I cannot dis distinguish between um, the sounds in the game and something being added being like too loud or if it's not like a huge difference, I just cannot distinguish it. Uh, distinguish it. Plus my uh, sound system is an utter crap, it's something that's worth 20 bucks. And it's uh, surround sound, which I don't use. So. Just imagine what kind of a quality you get for 20 bucks. Call this around sound. So when it comes to that, yeah, I'm the worst possible um, taster <laughs> for this mod. You know, watching it on YouTube later on, um, though that's gonna take a while before it gets released. Uh, that's where the difference will be. Or if you're guys listening on uh, headphones. Okay, that's fine. Let's um, get this one like to 90%. Now we're gonna take the risk and we're gonna start Moving towards periscope depth. Preheat that one. We're also gonna preheat the aft too. Nah, I have some problems with my ears. So I'm not wearing those. Not to mention that I hate it. Have some hearing issues, so it's um, it would be it would be too annoying. I cannot wear headphones at all. <laughs> all right, let's hope they don't uh, hear us. Well, actually, they cannot hear us right now, but let's hope they will not pick us up. We 
should be fine. Alrighty, Teras. We're gonna start moving, we're gonna take the risk now. Ekaloi. Where they don't hear us is 30 degrees left and right. So, this is where you are in their baffles. If we would be in this area, they cannot hear us. But sadly, that's not the case here. So, let's hope everything goes as planned. You get your butt on the scope. Uh, they're moving 7 knots, we have that set, we're gonna be around 800. Uh, port side. Let's again check. Where can I get the book? You cannot get the book. Is the scope up? Should be down. Uh, C3 cargo ship. Where the heck is it? It should be after the Liberty one. Yeah, 143 meters long. That's 140. Yes. Okay, it seems like the turn is going well. Ah, dang it. Scope up. I would also like to have a few more commands here, like lock the scope based on bearings. And log the scope based on how much up and down it is. There's our target. Zir good, Kameraden, zir good. We're gonna have to reload torps then real freaking fast. Which shouldn't be an issue. Back to our target. Two, one, and two. That is set. We're still turning. We're soon gonna be ready to halt stop everything. As soon as we make the turn, we're gonna make the calculations and um, far away. Well, yeah, that's how we roll. We're not just going in blind. <laughs> I've seen others play it. Like, what the heck? I mean, I grew up on Silent Hunter 3, so if you were not precise um, in that game, you hit nothing. Hey, there's zero! <laughs> How's it hanging? Uh, we should be pretty much ready now. I don't know why the heck we're still turning. Alright, we probably need to give it a couple more degrees. 
I'm gonna hard stop by the machine. Um, let's see. So, 48, 49. We'll say 50. Start tracking. It's gonna be 800 meters away when we take the shot. There's still 40 degrees to right side. Uh, we're gonna give it a one and a half degree spread. It looks like what an actual U-boat captain would do. <laughs> yeah, uh, though in Silent Hunter 3 it uh, took away more efforts. There's something I don't like in this game yet, and it's all the Conways are moving 7 knots. Took on a Conway last night that had 1-1 one, one DD cargo ship ratio, snuck in sank 4 and barely escaped. Oh, congratulations there, Zero. You're getting better at it, I guess. Uh, we'll probably take the shot when they get to like 10 degrees. Um, but yeah, the Torps still need to turn 20, so... We're gonna do some last adjustments just before we take the shot. For now, we're fine and dandy. Um, we're gonna have Terras go and reload T2 Tor. Oh, actually, yeah, T2s. We're gonna reload T2s. We have more T2s anyway. Zir good, Kameraden. Zir good. Still 10 degrees or 20 degrees, sorry about that. Good, good. 66 it says. 67. 68, so that's fine. That's fine. Hey there, Dagosur. Ahoy there, salty sea dog. I wish Maelstrom would pop in. Maelstrom and Joe Toy, I don't know where the heck those peeps are. Uh, so 73... 74... 75... Yeah, it's like a half... Uh, uh, I mean a degree. But it's uh, a degree lead, it's fine. It's almost gonna go straight, so let's set this up. So we're gonna say one and a half degrees spread, 1.4. Torps are almost gonna go straight. It's at zero, which means boy no! up. Alrighty. Lost it. Go Terras. Bewegung, los schneller. Charlotte, Charlotte might find itself in a bit of a trouble soon. We've had suspicious lack of dust since Mel's gone. <laughs> yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> Though I did have a few dart torpedoes last time. Now the first one is more to the right. Uh, the... The TDC, when you go for a salvo shot, it goes from the rightmost torpedo, then left one, then right, left, right, left. This one should hit, I mean, that one should hit there. Oh, that's a nasty explosion. So, we have the new sounds, uh, folks. The new sounds, uh, new sound mod is installed. Sounds of War made by um, R3D Shift Studio. <laughs> so let me know um, if you like the new sounds more. Ooh, she's in trouble now. Yeah, that's a huge hole. Though it does kind of disappear. Uh, they're abandoning the boat, she's gonna go down. She's definitely gonna go down. Well, we can send in the message. Hmm. Maybe she's not gonna go down. Good. Good. Load two. 
Now we should probably hide the periscope. We should hide the periscope. Um, unlock. Hide the scope, please. Now there's not much we can do right now. Just lay low. Transmission lost. Ah, uh, yeah, Charlotte. Poor Charlotte. This one was done. Receive. Yeah, okay, go and receive. Uh, he gets experience for that. For now, we're gonna stay put. Because uh, it seems like we're fine and dandy. Where's Charlotte? She's not gonna go down. She's gonna stay afloat, probably. Which is not bad for us, which means we can hide beneath the ship. She might still burn and sink. Uh, but I always check, you know, where the health bar is, and it, it was at here, at, at E, and it didn't go down. So, we're gonna mark her. Now, this is definitely our next target. We're gonna dive down to 30. Just to let this one pass. Reload in the meantime. Everything seems to be perfect. Now the problem with this one not sinking. Is. I do hope the other ships are gonna come. That way. Not behind the ship. Captain. Uh, Preheat to two first. You go on commanding. Yeah, this might pose an issue. This might pose an issue. Uh, we could fire a, two, a T1 at this ship. Though, no, we cannot. I don't want our, uh, our uh, us to be spotted, so... This DD is gonna get on top of us and we're gonna get screwed over. I just want this ship to be on top and uh, mask our sound. I mean, they're gonna be having issues with finding us once this ship is on top of us. That means we're gonna try and get uh, the Dale class and the County class without repositioning. That would be awesome. I made a new tanker explosion sound and ended it yesterday. Ooh! You know what? We're gonna try and aim uh, for the part that explodes. So not straight in the middle, either in the front or at the back. With 800 meters away, we should be able to pull it off. Though we'll see. We'll see how that goes. And they should be back at 7 knots. Um, okay, this is looking good, though they are going to our direction, you know, that's what I'm worried about. Let's hope they don't sniff us out. It'll blow up all right, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we're gonna use the, the T1 torpedo at 44 knots and slam it. Oh no! Dang it! I knew this one's gonna be a nuisance. I knew this one's gonna be a problem. God dang it. Let's hope they mask our um, signature. We are perpendicular to them so they can... It's easier for them to pick us up. Yeah, okay, we don't care about that message anymore. They got torpedoed. Did you change these sounds as well? DD Mafia ruining all the fun. Um, yeah, Zero, I installed, uh, I installed that mod um, yesterday, I think. Or was it like two days ago? I I just uh, I remembered, you know, like oh yeah, I still have that mod on my uh, on my list. 
Yeah, they picked us up. God dang it, they're gonna ruin all the party here. Uh, balls. You go and inspect that. God damn it. They're gonna go for us. They definitely know where we are at. How could they pick this up? Dang it. We're gonna dive down to, let's say, 70-ish. Or you know what? We're gonna dive down to 100. They will definitely depth charge us, but we're gonna try and stay at the bottom and pop up when we're gonna be ready to attack. We do have all the torps preheated. We do. So we need to take the shot with a two, uh, two, three. I've been using the realistic sounds mode for a while. Yeah, I've never used any other sounds because I know that at the start it was bugged and uh, the game was... Um, it slowed down to a crawl and I, I had uh, issues with uh, crashing. Uh, if you guys remember, as soon as the new update came out, for the first months I was constantly crashing. Okay, how deep, um, tell us Joe Toy. Now zero zeers, the one that's gonna be saving us or not. Okay, let's go one to one ten. Are you guys gonna drop? They might have issues locating us right now. But they will definitely let the others, uh, the other DDs know. So we need to attack these two ships, and we need at least one torp. Well, probably two torps for this their class. It's gonna be a fat one. Come on, damn you! Drop it. <laughs> Go for that depth charge run, please. Well, actually, we do still have some time. Nine meters. We're gonna be ready. They're not dropping in the right place. We're gonna wait for the first boom. No, we're not gonna wait for the first boom. What the heck are they dropping there? Hold your titties, boys. Oh my, we're only 100 meters deep. Yeah, well, we should be fine. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. I'm gonna be a tricky bastard and I'm gonna back it up. Let them uh, keep them guessing. Where are the other DDs? Yeah, they might come in, but we're gonna be backing it up. Though you know what? Let's stop here. Out zero, keep it in. 
I'm gonna go up to periscope depth, get things in order. Tube 3, tube 3 needs to go out. Um, we never get depth charge anymore. <laughs> yeah, we're too good. Just wait, we're gonna be depth charged um, soon enough. I can hear the squeaking. Come on, Fogel. Bring her up. We're gonna have to fire at an angle. Um, that's why I was thinking about moving backwards. Because if we move... Are we moving? No. If we move backwards a bit, we're gonna have a uh, better angle, though a bit further distance, but we're gonna be able to attack this one as well, you know, we just back it up. Uh, there's only one issue here, and it's this issue. And I think they are going straight for our location, which is there. So, yeah... Do my if we take a shot at this one. No, we're not. We're not gonna risk it. Is this did this one sink? Where's that C3 cargo ship? Ah, okay. It's drifting. That's also something that the developers need to fix. This might be a problem. God dang it. Scope up. This might be a serious issue. Uh, 46, we should not be tracking. 50, that's 800. Kilometer at fifty, one kilometer at fifty one, fifty one, one kilometer. Let's go magnetic. Los! We'll take the shot because we might get um, attacked here. Okay, she's turning out. Hey, Put 82 in. Yeah, put 82 in. No, we're not gonna risk the half uh, two. Maybe, I mean, I'm gunning for the front of the ship. I gave it a, an extra degree. So we're gunning for this part, but it's not gonna be... Ah, it's gonna be too late. Come on, T2! <laughs> Dang it, I was gunning for this part. Scheiße! Verdammt! 61 at 880 65 65 64 I mean 66 we'll say 66 at 840 we're gonna use a T1 half a degree we're gonna ready I'm 
gonna back it up big time. We need to attack this thing. And there's a DD coming at us. Okay, this should hit the front. Gave it an extra half a degree. Oh my god, same spot. Holy moly. I bet Churchill heard that. It must have knocked his um, his teacup. It must have knock, knocked his teacup out of his um, whatever he had, wherever he had it. There you are, Miss County Class Cruiser. Seven knots, fifty. Yeah, who cares? Distance five hundred. We're gonna go with a um, five degree spreadish. She is 180 meters. Well, we'll say 160, 7 knots. How far are we? We're gonna get depth charged, boys. Is she moving 7 knots? She's probably not moving 7 knots. 480, hard stop. Um, 60 at 500. Three, four, five hundred. Smaller dispersion. No. The shot. T2s. Where's the DD? It's gonna attack us. No, that's the main issue. Go back to seven knots. Float these two. Is she on fire? She's on fire. Is she gonna go down? Eighty-two at four hundred and thirty. Eighty-two at four three four hundred and thirty. She's not gonna go down. No! Send in another one. Five hundred meters. Oh, there's two DDs coming at us. Do we have another Torp? We don't. Shite. Alrighty. Um, unlock. Scope down real quick, boys. Speed up. Go down to 100. Okay, we hit it. Didn't have the time to swap it. I mean to change the camera. Okay, she's gonna burn down if nothing else. At least I hope so, but we're gonna get F now. We're gonna get F. Alright, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna go down to 80. Actually, just go down to 30. Uh, the Good reason is time. we can get we can get a uh, enough shot. We can get enough shot, but I think she's gonna burn down. Yep, she's gonna burn down. Is it good? There's another target that I would like to go after. But it's very far away, which means we're gonna have to be flooring it. Meaning we're gonna go down to 70 and stay at 70 and uh, floor it. <gasps> we're gonna reload the torps and all that crap. But we have to be careful because we do have a DD above us. Which means they are gonna 
depth charges. There is another one in our baffles. And there's gonna be another one on top of us soon. Now you are an Empire Explorer, right? Yeah, just an Empire Explorer, but it's a fat one. Yeah, this one's gonna be the problem. Ooh. Ah, that's too far. We're just gonna waste the tour. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to attack this one. We're gonna try though. We'll try and stay kinda perpendicular to the course. Just so we have a better chance at hitting. Oh, are they depth charging? Are they depth charging? Captain. That's interesting. Free hit, please. Um, who's the one who can preheat? I mean, who can uh, reload torps faster? Is it Tits? It's Tits. Alrighty, Tits. Which tube? Tube 3. So you can reload tube 1. Just tell the engines. We're gonna slow down. So they go for a charge, depth charge run. And then we're gonna speed up again. And attack this ship. Alrighty, Kameraden. <laughs> yeah, we could um, do way more damage. But I just didn't want to be aggressive. After we attacked uh, the... I mean, when we sank the whole three ships, we could be more aggressive. Alrighty, let them come, boys. Let them come. Teras. Was for eine Scheiße. Put a T1 in. Yeah. We do have an issue here, we won't have a torp red in time. How deep can we go? 49, alrighty. Will they drop? Did they use up all their depth charges? They did not. Alrighty. We're fine, we're fine. We just need to reload the torps. Bang, bang, bang. So we need to get to like a kilometer range, if uh, even less if possible. But a kilometer range is something that we're gonna try and get and position ourselves. By the way, with time, with time uh, passing by, I mean the date, um, getting later into the war, the did is at least what the developers say, the destroyers are getting more and more accurate. Depth keeping, teeth go on the engines. Terras can preheat, though Weber can preheat too. But I think we have uh, enough time. Yeah, we're gonna preheat T2s. Aye, aye, nom nom nom. <laughs> now there's a DD missing. No, it's not. Good. Let's slow down. Nah, we're gonna keep on flooring it. We're gonna go up to, let's say, 20. Because we can pretty much um, take the shot. Now this DD is moving away, this one's moving away, this one can come in. But before it comes in, we have to finish the attack. We have to be um, done and dusted. We're gonna have torps preheated. 
What about the half tube? I'm still kind of thinking about taking a shot at that DD that's harassing us. But that would be this one. This one's the one with the sonar. These corvettes are crap. Periscope depth. I I hack alloy. Preheat, please. Okay, there's the scope down. One point four K. Let's slow down so they will not pick our uh, up our sound. We're doing good, boys. We're doing good. We can actually speed up the time a bit. Radio transmission. Confirm. Is there still anything we can um, kind of intercept? No. Send in the message then. We're gonna go slow here. We're actually gonna stop. Let's start tracking this bad boy. Uh, we're gonna say 58 at a kilometer. Ah. It says 57, though that's not right, but still. 67. Yeah, 66, 67. That's not bad. Sixty-seven. A kilometer, seven knots, thirty on the torps, we're gonna use one. There's still a good angle on it, so we can wait. We're gonna wait for it to start turning in and take the shot. Static and 42, the DDs can come equipped with Hedgehog Death Charge. Yeah, we know. <laughs> we know that. Alrighty, 72, she's slowly turning in. 72, 73, 74. No, that's too much. 72. Damn it. Okay, time to take the shot. Uh, so, 77. We'll say 80 at 900. Now we used up so many tours that I'm gonna take two shots, edit, just to make it sure, and uh, we're gonna go and disappear. Uh, we're gonna keep this T1 Torps as it is. Come on, splat it. How did she move that fast? Okay, that should do it. That should take her down. Bebessa! 
So nah Wellen, Herr Kalon. Rohr 5 bewässert. Und die Süge, Bastards. Höhlenbruch, sie sinken. Okay, that one went down. Rohr 5, bewässern. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's zero. It is zero. But come on, step on it, man. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna go for the depth run. Uh, depth charge run. Oh, you can see the sub turning. Oh, come on, how deep are we? 30 meters. Oh, she's not. She's not gonna go down. Oh my god, almighty, I thought we sank it. God dang it. Alrighty, hold depth. I'm gonna make chips. Terras. We're not done yet. Is she gonna burn? Yes! <laughs> Oh boy, straight up the chin. Uh, periscope depth. Slow down. Move there. Good, good. How deep are we? 80. <clears throat> There's a waterfall effect. Oh man, this is something we haven't pulled off. I don't know if ever. We did hit stuff with the T5 torps, but not with a T1 like this. This one's still drifting though. Incoming Flandria. And why cannot we send up the message? Confirm, receive Flandria. Then we're gonna send our own message out. <laughs> so boys, did you see? That's how you do it. Now, are there more targets we could go and attack? Newcombs. Okay, Flandria. Ah, that's from another convoy then. Let's send in the love message to the units. They're gonna come at us now. They're gonna be pissed. Uh, but they don't have anything proper to depth charge us with. Alrighty, sounds good Herr to me. Go and preheat. Well, we actually did not need to do that. But since he was at it, um, we can actually hide a scope. We're gonna hide the scope. Hopefully, they're not gonna pick us up. Because if they do, we're going to be uh, in a bit of a trouble there. Yeah, they did pick us up, probably. Or not. We'll see. I'm going to dive down to, uh, let's see, 40. God dang it, I think this one's on on to us. Yeah, it is. Step on it. Um, I couldn't hear it that time. I'll play around with it myself. 
a beating game. Uh, what couldn't you hear? Like the explosion. Yeah, the flag sounds. Uh, the, f <laughs> the flag's awesome. Not to mention we are... Um, oh no, we are uh, researching a new torpedo. Okay, let's slow down. I'm gonna hard stop it there. Oh damn! This one can do some tight. Ooh! For dumps! Back it up. Short little uh, camera break. Captain needs to have <laughs> tooth time. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, we're gonna oops back it up a bit just slightly so we don't have a bloody nose. Yeah, look at the depth charges, they will not hit us even if we stay um, put, but now they cannot hear us, so we're gonna move into a bit better, safer position. Yeah, actually, we're gonna stop it here. We cannot hear anything either, because the depth charges are going off. We should see the ship though. Ooh, they are uh, wasting their... Um, they are wasting their depth charges. Which is great. That's gonna force them to go back to the um, back to the convoy sooner. Yeah, they are mad. <laughs> I can tell you that. Alright, we're gonna speed up the time a bit. Still blowing up. Boom, boom, boom. Well, they do have plenty, uh, but they don't have a limited am uh, limitless amount. They should GTFO now. This is a hunter killer group. I have checked it. This is another convoy that we won't be able to attack before we go and um, and um, resupply. We've used up so many torps. Okay, they're back to their uh, convoy. Daytime. Holy dang it. Okay, that's 20k. Um, so does the boat turn off the alarm? Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Kapitän? Abgebrochen. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Herr Kaloy? Uh, you need to go on observation. Did I say surface the boat? I did. Turn that on. Alrighty, between 30 and 40 realistically up to plus 70 plus. Oh, 
the number of um, uh, depth charges you mean. Oh, Scheiße. Oh, my God. No, we're still fine. They need to gain, they need to get the distance. I'm rushing, I'm rushing. She's sinking. Wreckage. Charlotte, are you sinking? Oh yeah, she's sinking. Ah, oh, damn it. Get off the freaking thingy. <laughs> are they coming in? Oh my god, they're coming. We shot them down. They're shot down. Oh, thanks God. Alrighty. Um, let's hope we can uh, pick up the pilots. Is that um, thingy up? Yeah, um, definitely something bogged up with the sound. There are zero survivors. Oh, 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 that's disappointing. That is seriously disappointing. Yeah, headshots, I guess it were all headshots. Um, you know what, Whitman? Go back to um, normal lighting. We can open the bulkheads now. No more to uh, no, no, no need to panic anymore. We're gonna set course. Uh, for the milk cow, the milk cow, and we still haven't officially uh, started up the patrol. Yeah, 